So 30 minutes of numbing and then... It just smells the same. feel so good out here I'm the kind of person that likes to be outside but I can't lie I don't come out here very often because it's just so dirty I hate dirtiness I can't be <laughs> I just have a big issue with being dirty now you might think well who likes to be dirty I mean come on well I don't I tell I don't have a high tolerance I have a low tolerance for filth and then I feel like I need to clean everything and I feel icky and gross so I don't come out here often but now that I've cleaned it I'm gonna and I also purchased a cover to cover this whole thing. I don't know why I never thought about that. So I purchased a cover to cover everything to help minimize the amount of dirt that gets on the patio. And I'll come out here more often now that the weather has cooled down and I'll maintain the cleanliness of this place so that I don't have to deprive myself of being outside. It looks really good. Now I do have the this thing that I've had for some time now. You can get this on Amazon. Ew, the bottom, it has mad little ants on it. I had it on the floor, what, what could I have, what should I have expected? Okay, put alcohol in here, light it, little fireplace, really cute. I put this thing down first because I didn't realize that because this is cement, it was scraping the table. So I had that down there so that it doesn't keep on cutting up this table. I mean, this table is plastic. Hello. Okay, so I've already explained that I don't like things dirty. I just need things to be clean. So I have this basket from Target. What I plan on doing is putting in here things that I will take with me outside and bring back inside. For instance, I have these coasters right here that I'll use on the table. These are from Home Goods. I'm gonna put them in here. Let's see, I already have the fire pit. So the good thing about that fire pit is that I'll put alcohol. No, I don't know. But yeah, it'll, it should, I don't know if it's guaranteed, but it should keep the bugs away. So this is this, I'll get some toilet, not toilet, some paper towel. I'll just bring the alcohol in and out. I don't want that laying sideways and then potentially falling over. It's dangerous. It's flammable. I mean, obviously. So come like a fire. You can come like a flood. Oh, I don't care what it looks like. I'm so in I just have this one from Amazon. I barely use it. I had it for travel. I don't even take it on travel, so I'll put this here. I will put a lighter. Also gonna add in here these Mindful Talk cards that I found on Amazon. Love these, just great ways to create conversation with children, of course, you know, just we're talking. We, we need to talk more. So I'm gonna add that there so we can be ch chatting. I do have a different set in the car that I love for us to do in the mornings during carpool. I am that person, as we already have discussed, butt wipes, because why not? And then a handy dandy phone tripod. <laughs> content is, everything is content. Life is content. Hi. forever to come and get my eyebrows retouched again so I'm finally here and we're early so we're gonna cross the street I'm following this guy I'm not even sure I can do this cross the street and go to this market square place to look around get some to eat and then go to my appointment and we are staying overnight so I'll be going home tomorrow it's a nice way to get away I chose San Antonio because 
I love the work that she does and I always knew that when I wanted to get my brows done, I was going to come to her. And of course, I have to come to her for the retouch. And that's okay. It gives me a reason to, to travel to San Antonio. Look at this place. It's called Market. Get something. Reminds me of Puerto Rico. Very lovely. Oh, okay. It's very it's, it's Mexican inspired. This is so nice. Look at those dresses. Oh, the chancletas. Found a restaurant. What is it called? La Margarita. Mexican restaurant oyster bar. Okay, let's come here. Bye, my friend. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> so we're here now. Apparently the appointment is for an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So that's good. Last time I was here, it was like four hours. It was forever. It was too much. So this is good. I'm really actually sleepy. The food of the place wasn't good. It wasn't good. So here we are. I'm ready for a snack. Well, let's get this over with. All right. So numbing's in progress. <laughs> this numbing didn't do much last time. It still hurt like heck. But... We're going to give it the benefit of the doubt this time. So 30 minutes of numbing and then the actual procedure. All right, we are now in the hotel room. We're staying at the San Antonio Marriott Riverwalk. Or River, yeah, Riverwalk. And these are my brows. Take a look at them. I think they look so good. Wow, my face looks so slim. I've lost a lot of weight, praise God. She did the washing and all of that. I have my aftercare sheet. I actually need to get fragrance free gentle face wash so I need to get that because there's some washing that I have to do and then on from days three to seven there's no there's no wetting the brows so this is a very unique system so what you do is you come here lobby okay and then it tells you which elevator to take be so different I wonder what made them do that or is this a new hotel I don't know all right we're walking down to oops to the river walk and that was oh my goodness gracious this is a nice hotel last time when i came i stayed at a different hotel i like this one a lot better so definitely note to self on that oh that's where the that's where you go for the ride right there that's where the boat ride is okay now i know where i am now that i've seen that i know where i am so where are the food places man it is it's actually comfortable on here but i still feel hot let's go to margaritaville Never been before. What a beautiful view. So this is Sugar Factory. Never even heard of it. How cute. We're gonna come to Hooters for some wings. the original Burberry her and I stinking love it oh, gosh why is this so difficult to open I freaking love the original one what I love me a fruity scent okay wow I don't have any nails and it's always a problem when it comes to opening things like this listen I've been I started girl I started decluttering my makeup and I'm just so sick of it. It's just a lot of work. I'm also filming, which is an issue. If I was just throwing stuff away, it wouldn't be that complicated. So this is the Burberry, Burberry Her Elixir, Elixir de Parfum. This is the 1.6 fluid ounce. I do have the 1.6 in the regular as well. Oh, all right, good. So easy to, t no, my other one's a little bit bigger than this. Easy to tell the difference because this one is matte or is it opaque? I get it confused. Opaque means you can't see through, right? <laughs> yeah, there's that. Okay, ooh, this is a smelling first for the first time. Spray, I always spray the box, it's paper, so whatever. Let's just get a whiff of this. This smells the same. I mean, I like it, I love it. It just smells the same. So what makes this different? <laughs> is it gonna last longer? You know, because 
for instance, MFK 540, the other the parfum and the extra parfum, the parfum, whatever. I'm told it smells different. I don't have the extra, so I don't know. But why don't I smell something different? It's amazing. It just smells the same. Okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> I still love it. If I, from what I understand, elixirs have more oil in it, which means it will last longer. So if you had to choose just off of right now, I'd go and purchase the elixir since it would last you longer. But, uh, I mean, I love it. It smells the same. I don't, I'd have to do a side by side, but wolf rip. Literally the same. Anyway, this is still good. I'm gonna link it below for you. I mean, it's still good. Like, gosh, I need my Joe Malone insert to come. I purchased the Peony and Blush Suede Car Diffuser Refill because I love that scent. That does smell, it just smells really good. It's amazing. It just smells the same to me. It's so freaking good. I feel like I need a candle in that. That is the perfect, sweet, delicious floral. I just freaking love it. Okay, anyway. There's all of that, okay? Okay. One of my goals is to really get use out of these products that I be having, honey. So today, while I edit on the computer, I decided to put on these vitamin C eye patches from Peter Thomas Raw. I don't do eye patches nearly as much as I should, so. And now I'm gonna go organize my nail products and nail polishes into this little kit that I bought. Let me show you. Yo, yo, so I just got some new stuff in from Amazon. I mean, come on, Amazon is just a, <laughs> we buy in from Amazon all the time. I got a new battery pack in because I bought a new camera. I'm gonna now be using two different cameras. I'm not gonna sell my other one. I'm gonna have more options to film with, okay? So I'll explain to you and I'll show you the camera in a second, but I got this battery pack and charging bay. So now I have four batteries for my DSLR instead of two. Very important. Got the new pillowcases in, so right now I'm taking them out of the packages. They come pretty flat, and I realize that these are actually way bigger than the ones I have on my bed. I thought the ones on my bed were 20. Is this 24 by, what is this? Hold on, is this 24 by, oh my God. <laughs> So I meant to buy the same size pillows as the ones on my bed. I bought 26 by 26 pillows. Well, it turns out the pillows on my bed are actually 24 by 24. Because when I opened these, I was like, this is ginormous. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is this. I'm trying to put accent pillows on the couch, brown in taupe, you'll see. It, it hasn't come yet, so when it comes, I'll actually put the covers on the pillows on the couch. So now I'm feeling like I'm going to need to change the ones on the bed. I don't know, because I also got extra pillows to put in the guest room, but I obviously got the ginormous ones. So I got 26 by 26 right now. I wanted it to be the same size as the ones on my bed, which are actually 24 by 24. It's really confusing because I learned through trial and error that when you buy the pillow, the cover is supposed to be smaller than the pillow. So since my pillows are 26 by 26, I bought 24 by 24 covers. 
okay so put that in your mind because if you buy the same size cover as the pillow because these are down feather fluffy whatever it's gonna be too big for the actual pillow so buying a smaller size works out a lot better girl what look at my picture is all straight I came I came to function I had to fix that so yeah the pillow covers will be here later today and then I thought the camera was in this pack it is not so I have the four pillows oh, I did buy two other pillows that are gonna go they're lumbar pillows that are gonna go on the wool the white wool accent chairs in the bed okay that's what I did but did I buy Okay, now I'm fluffing them, so let's... So right now I'm obviously fluffing the pillows and my wig is getting in my way, honey. I got stuff here from an unboxing the other day. Where's my box cutter? Yo, these pillows are humongous, but you know what? I do feel like it'll make the couch look and feel more cozy because of course the pillows that come on the couch are great, but they don't hurt to have more. You feel what I'm saying? Little by little. I'm realizing what will, what will make the place more comfortable. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? This shouldn't be this difficult. And I haven't even eaten yet. Can you imagine? I was, I was saying, I don't have my watch on. This wig is getting in my way. You feel what I'm saying? I can't wait for the other stuff to come. It's coming in different packages. I wish it was all here at the same time. You feel me? To worship you. Okay, so I'm in my car right now and I'm charging my iPad because oh, I do not have time and I mean I've been using it whatever so I'm charging it through one of the auxes and then what a day today has been what a day today has been I have not eaten did I eat no I have not eaten all day and I did have two coffees I didn't have any water that is very bad I know that that's very bad I have had such a wild day wow i am here mad early there are probably 20 cars so folks be coming into the carpool lines mad early now i get it i'm here early because like i said i haven't eaten and i need to eat and i was gonna go get something fast and then come in the line but that'll make me too late because then i want to get neat i want to bring you need to get something to eat too because we have swimming class tonight and it's just a lot you know yeah 
I'm grateful. I remember thinking of these days like, oh, being a soccer mom and going to sports. <laughs> you know, it's a lot. I took off my wig because I can't be doing the whole wig with swimming, the shower, it's too much. And I just needed it off my neck. I just need to be free. It, it's, a, it's straight hair and it was flowing everywhere. It's too much. So I took off the wig. And thank God for these headband wigs, honey. And then this hat, which is really dirty. I need to clean it. I just threw it on, honey. I really just threw it on. So good that I just have these. I meant to film three videos today. I filmed one. I had a meeting. It was a webinar. I filmed while I was washing my hair in the car. I had therapy. I did my makeup while I was on my therapy appointment. So there were some successes today. My new camera came in wow today just flew by so fast and i like i said i had two coffees no water terrible i get it it the coffees held me over because it is three o'clock and i still have not eaten a thing i meant to grab cheese on my way out because i'm on keto the fat keeps me full sati satiated and i forgot because i was like oh i gotta get the swim stuff so i had to quickly pack the swim bag and then i forgot to get my cheese i grabbed my ipad and all of that and here i am i do have this skinny popcorn in the car and he doesn't like it because it's the salt one it really is very healthy it don't taste like nothing it don't taste like nothing it tastes like nothing i wish it had a little more salt jesus lamb i mean this is very high very healthy so i'm gonna just scarf this down because i have no choice but i cannot wait i'm gonna just yeah we're gonna get some food before swimming class and then come back and then just, you know, things to do, honey. Things to do. Today's makeup is my basic situation. I want to put a gloss on top. But then again, I'm about to eat, so no gloss. I don't want any issues. I got to do my nails for a campaign that is for my nails. So all the more reason why it's good I don't have acrylic on. That takes forever to come off. And it's a lot of money when I can, you know, do my nails at home. And just a lot of things. Oh, my new pillows on the living room couch. I love. They they lift up the room. They really do add some pizzazz. It makes me so happy. So I look forward to the, the pillows, the lumbar pillows coming in for the bedroom. I need to do some dishes. I need to clear out the front entryway because there's so much junk from unboxing. There's a lot of things going on, man. Concepts due for campaigns. Thank God my email is both at zero, per both personal email and business email. Uh, it's just a lot, yo. It's just a lot. But we give God all the glory and I'm glad to be here. I'm charging my iPad. I'm going to read because that's the whole point of coming to the carpool line early is so that I can unplug detach and do something different from the business because it just can be so overwhelming and then I don't get to do the other things that I enjoy which is reading. I am making quite a bit of headway through the book that I'm reading right now is We Should All Be Millionaires. Yo, she's crazy. She talks is is real it's real rugged. I like it though. It's very like what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> and I love it. Like we talk about making some rich decisions, okay? Not no broke decisions so i just love it yo it's, it's it's really good freeing up ourselves from doing things that other people can do to make way for us to make more money i mean hello it, it's it, i it just it's a no-brainer but i needed to read it because anyway it makes a lot of sense so i love it and i've got some other books in the lineup that i cannot wait to read but i don't like reading more than one book at a time but i am in the middle of a few books i don't like it so i'm focusing on this one right now which i really really love so if you've read this book comment and let me know if you haven't you need to read it if you if you have it and you bought your business and you trying to level up and you trying to just be more successful efficient you trying to be on your boss grind that's the kind of book you need to read and i have been i had been known i have been known hey i have been heard that the book was really good and i'm glad i finally got around to it i cannot wait to eat I'm not starved, but I can definitely feel like, okay, I need some food. Some folks rolling up right now, so this is definitely the prime time. Perhaps people who have somewhere to go and want to get out of here quickly instead of coming here late. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, and did I tell you about my Joe Malone car diffuser? I shared it on IG stories, but I don't believe I shared it here on the vlog. It's so dark, but... There it is. It's peony and blush suede. It's so delicious. It smells so good. There we are, lighting up now. It just smells so good, and I love it. So there it is. 
chilling in a core or whatever. Like how to put a lens on? That's okay. Just jump ahead to the next section. But now let's start. Okay, so I'm watching a user guide because when you buy something, you read the manual. I'm not. I don't even know what is that. What is the manual? I have no clue. So everything's on YouTube these days, honey. And I'm, I found this guy. Well, my friend sent me the link to this guy, and I've seen him before. Jared Pollen, Pollen, and he gonna walk me through setting up this camera because who has time? And and FYI, now I have three cameras: the G7X Mark III that you are on, my 90D, and now an R6. Why? Because they all serve different purposes. I love tech; my quality is important to me. So I don't want to skimp on any of that. So here we go. With the outside of the camera, like I said, this is the very basic stuff. But it's all right if you don't know this. You just oh, have someone here to show it to you, and that's why we're making this video. Let's start it. on the bottom of the camera with where the battery <laughs> here it is. is. Right here. Just flick this door so open, funny. and look. There's your battery. You can pop it out. You can only put it in one way.